Welcome back to this War of Mine Fading Embers DLC. Last episode, I ended with a horrible ending for the game where the museum burns down and Reuben was dead, and I'm pretty sure a quest was bugged that made it so that we couldn't rescue Milena, probably. It was just pretty bad overall, and I couldn't go back because the game only has one save. But I've played through the game again, probably took a good three hours or so. It's, it's a bit faster when I'm not commentating or reading anything and I'm skipping all the things I can. And we are back to the same point that we were at before, where I have yet to go to the warehouse where Milena is supposedly being held. So the cook has come and delivered the message from Milena. They actually delivered it yesterday, so it was on day 22 that we had the cook visit us. I went back and checked the footage, and in my other playthrough, it was day 28 that the cook visited us, so... I'm like about a good week ahead of schedule compared to where we were before. Not to mention way better off than I was before. Yeah, it really pays well to know how to play this game <laughs> now that I have all this experience. Oh my god, everything went so much better. So just, uh, I'm not going to reiterate everything, but I just want to tell you some of the major points that I've learned and how it all uh, shook out in the end and was it worth it and stuff like that. Well, first thing that I did differently is instead of trying to conserve the medicine in the very beginning when we're still in Anja's grandfather's house, uh, this time instead I just gave all the medicine to Ruben right away because as soon as they wake up, you can go to the Bogoran Museum. So the faster you can do that, the faster you can set off all these other events and the more time you have. Because I presume the bombing that ends the game is still going to happen on day 32 or whatever it was. So. Yeah, pump as much medicine into Reuben as you can. Where are my cigarettes? Reuben, you live. So I got to the Pokorn Museum quite fast. And then after that, uh, well, it sort of helped just to know where to go. Also helped a huge amount to try to go for the hatchet as early as possible, because that is an amazing way to get fuel, which saves you so much wood, which in turn allows you to build a lot more things. Yeah, that is super important. I also focused a lot on building up my metal workshop. I actually have a max level workshop. Advanced metal workshop, which allows me to make and fix vests and helmets and ammo and assault rifles, pistols, shotguns, all that good stuff. Also didn't waste any resources trying to make a garden because, man, that just does not work out. Just isn't enough time and resources to really get that going. I think that's the major things, really. Yeah, and just a consequence of of all of that stuff. Now being able to... Just having more resources and being able to fix weapons and stuff like that. Now I have a fixed military vest. And a fixed helmet. So I have two pieces, the only two pieces of armor you can have. So amazing protection in combat. I have every sort of gun. I found an assault rifle that was broken and I fixed it. I found a couple pistols, so I just took them. I found a shotgun, so I just took that. So I have all three weapons. I have a decent amount of ammo, 26 rounds. Yeah, most of this ammo actually didn't come from me making it or really finding it in the world, generally. A lot of it actually came from people. Uh, from people's bodies, that is. I just tested out combat. I think it was the night bef No, a couple nights ago. I tested out combat at the abandoned house where the bandits are. You know, that kind of early house where it says there's danger there and there's three bandits. The one that patrols downstairs and then two are up in some room. I went there and I hatcheted the bandit in the, uh, in the bottom of the house. Hatcheted them in the back. That's very satisfying. It didn't kill them, but it almost did. And then, thankfully, they didn't get any shots off, and I managed to hack at them again. They died. I took no damage. And they have a lot of ammo on them because they have guns, right? So, of course, they have a decent amount of ammo. And, of course, a working gun, whatever they were holding, they have for you to take. So it's a very good way to get ammo and guns if you can kill somebody. And then I went upstairs and took the shotgun from the body downstairs, took it upstairs, and shot at the two bandits up there and just took out all three bandits in that whole place and that was a really good source of weapons and ammo. Got a little bit hurt because I kind of fumbled with a shotgun, but, you know, had bandages. It was fine. So, I'm going to end the night 
Now it's time to go to the warehouse. Let's have Zeron and Ruben both guard. Anja is going to scavenge. Now the question is, what exactly am I going to do here? Because I have all this combat stuff. However, this is a warehouse absolutely full of military people geared to the teeth. I can't just pop in here and just shoot a couple bandits and I'm done. This place has like half a dozen heavily armed guards. So I don't think combat is a good idea. I mean, maybe if I take cover with my assault rifle. I've never used the assault rifle, by the way. It uses a lot of ammo, so I've been hesitant. I could maybe take cover and just fire at them a lot from behind cover. This ammo that I have, though, won't go very far. One burst with the assault rifle, one use of it, uses up three ammo. So that's not a lot. I think it would be very unwise to try to go in guns blazing to a place like this. However, let's assume that maybe I'm going to get caught. So I might have to run and they might shoot at me. So I'm still, I still want to be geared up with armor. Definitely. I want to see. I might, I probably won't be able to, but I want to see if I can use my hatchet to hack up some things to get fuel because I'm really low on fuel and wood. Actually, I have no fuel and very little wood. And I can also use this to hit somebody in the back if they're separated from the group. And if they don't get any shots off, I can maybe kill them pretty stealthily. I don't think I want to bring a gun. Do I? Maybe I should anyway. Should I? I guess I should, shouldn't I? Oh wow, you can stack ammunition that much? Cool. So very little inventory space, obviously, but... That's fine. Do I want a lockpick? Uh, no, this, this is good. I'm scared. <laughs> and, by the way, if Anja dies... I'm going to immediately leave the game, restart, so that it doesn't save on the next day. Yeah, it saves coming, but I'm playing for a second time. I want this to go better. Oh, yes, I can chop something. Good. Because I probably shouldn't chop anything in the house, or they'll probably hear. I can't even take all of this. Let's take the wood. Yeah, this is not a loot run, so I'm not going to be too concerned with loot. I think that's good. That's good. I, th I think the only thing I'd replace any of this with is if I find more fuel. I'd replace some of the wood with that. But I think we're good for now. Ooh, I can hack that up. I don't think anyone would hear. Oh, oh no, no, hold on. Holy shit. That, like, sound ring that emanates out was actually really, really big. We good? They didn't hear? Yeah, they're not coming. Okay. That is not worth it, though. I know at one point somebody comes from up here. They might have already come, though. It seems safe to go up here? I don't see any footsteps. Yeah, they're sleeping on the bed. Oh, I can cut 
that open. Didn't realize that. Should have brought my thingy. Oh, I don't actually want to go over here, do I? I need to go up the ladder. Nobody seems to be moving. I'm going to just go up. I remember this guard is facing the opposite way, so I can actually walk past here. Okay, now we can actually finish this conversation. Let's see if we missed, like, important dialogue stuff. Maybe a trigger like I thought. What are you doing here? I'm looking for Milena. I thought I could help her out somehow. Where are they keeping her? She's not here anymore. I helped her run away. I sneaked a saw blade to her cell, but things went downhill from there. What do you mean? What happened? Milena used the saw blade I brought her and escaped from her cell. Her plan was to reach a fence on the east side of the complex. But two soldiers spotted her and started shooting. Did they kill her? I don't know. She was hit, but managed to run into the darkness. I hope she's going to make it, but... Is it my fault? If I hadn't brought her that saw blade... No, if you hadn't helped her, she might already be dead. They wouldn't keep her alive forever. At least now there's still hope. You should go now, before they find you. You can use the balcony here. Hmm. Okay, dialogue-wise, that didn't reveal anything new. It's possible there is a trigger, though. It's also possible that, because I was like a week behind schedule compared to where we are now. Maybe we need enough time for certain events to happen for Milena to come back or for us to be able to find out where they are. So maybe I was just too late getting to the museum for all that stuff to play out. Who knows? Okay, I... Hmm. I think the way stealing like this works... I looked it up because I really wanted to know because of stealing the engine part at that car place. Remember that fiasco? <laughs> I looked it up and apparently how it works, which is kind of silly, is if nobody has seen you at all, like if they haven't spotted you even once ever, then if you steal something, they're not going to come running. They're not even going to know you're there. But if they have spotted you, and you've like ran away or something and then you've come back and try to steal something they will know that you're stealing it and run towards you which doesn't make a whole lot of sense but the end result is i think it would be fine if i steal this because none of the guards have seen me like that's considered stealing Well, then I had to run away this way. See, they say the east side of the complex. That must be, must be this way, right? I'm assuming to the right is east and up is north. <laughs> it doesn't really work that way, but... Like, her cell is over here. Footprints here. I don't know. I don't know if reading those maybe helps, like, get us more clues on where Milena might be. In terms of triggers, I know just reading them, that, like we did last time, it didn't really tell us anything important. They'd have that conversation about her. I could look up here. Nah. I want to kill one of these fuckers. I need to get out of here, though. Let's go. Chop that up. They would definitely hear it, though. There's guards around here. Ooh, did they spot me? No, they didn't. They didn't. Whew. Oh, no. 
No, no, no. They did. They did. Go. Whew. Okay. Alright, we are in such a better place than we were last time. And much earlier, too. I'm feeling good about this. We've been raided. And all good. Let's get the tired people into bed, as always. I think the tired people are... Are everybody? Yeah. Is that the colonel? Oh no, it's... Just the traitor. The person who wants the... Thing of deeds and whatever, right? Aren't you that person? Uh, sorry to bother you again. I know you've got a lot on your minds. It's no problem. What brings you here? Oh, oh no, this is from the orphanage. We're struggling every day in our small orphanage and the kids are losing hope. Soon we'll run out of supplies. I need to figure something out. There might be some hope, though. I've heard rumors. What kind of rumors? A man told me about a group of people trying to flee the city. Oh! So, I think we learned about this. The, remember the train station? The people digging a hole there? They wanted me to give them something to smuggle out the children? I think I learned that when I was at the orphanage at some point, but I haven't done that this playthrough, so I guess if you don't go there to learn it, Eventually, they just come to you. I guess that's probably where we're going tonight then, huh? Okay, this is something I should have done a lot earlier. But you can actually improve the stove from a crude stove to an improved stove. And it allows us to prepare cooked food more efficiently, saving fuel. This has actually turned into a huge fuel sink. Using two fuel every time I want to make two food. So let's improve it. Looks like that's as far as it can be upgraded. So it takes... takes half the fuel that it did before. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure if it also takes less water. Possibly, but the fuel alone is good enough. I only have one board. Alright. Make that and make a batch of two foods and give it to the first two people to wake up, I guess. Or the first one person to wake up. So Ron's going to get first dibs. There to cook. There we go. Let's end the day. So we're going to the railway station. I'm just going to scavenge as always. And yeah, let's have two guards. The thing that kind of sucks, weirdly enough, about having weapons, uh, guns specifically, and ammo is that if somebody comes to try to steal your stuff... It tends to just use a random amount of your ammo to do that. Just for defending. I mean, last time I was raided, actually, I lost five ammo just defending the place. And I feel like if I didn't have ammo, then we would have been able to defend it just fine anyway with our knives and stuff, and we wouldn't have used ammo. So, kind of sucks. Just kind of burning ammo all the time, you know? Let's... Oh, I need fuel really bad, so let's take the hatchet and let's take all this stuff. Don't need any defensive stuff, of course. I think I remember there being some bars here. I hope so there's, there's some furniture for me to destroy. I have no fuel and, and literally no wood, actually. Or something. Yes. Yeah, look at the sound waves. Look at that. It's so big. Not quiet. Which is, I mean, fair. Let's dump the water, the parts, the leaf. I really just need, like, fuel and wood. I guess I'm low on components as well. So maybe I'll keep that. I'm even going to dump the food, honestly. I'll keep the components. I'll, I'll get up to one stack of components. Ooh. 
There's no point in looking at the pile, actually. Not really. There's nothing there that I'm going to get that I'm not going to find anywhere else, I think. Yeah, I was never able to open this in my last playthrough. This isn't very good stuff so far. Ah, damaged helmet. I already have a helmet. Is that worth taking? I mean, I suppose it would help protect us when our people are guarding during the night. I'm not too concerned about that, though. I'm going to leave it. Wood and fuel. Wood and fuel. Wood, yes. Full stack of components. Yep, so now I just want more wood, and if I find fuel, I'll replace wood with fuel. I'm not going to find fuel just loose in a pile. It's got to be something I can destroy, like this. It's going to break pretty soon. I think it has maybe one or two uses left. Saves me an inventory slot. I might actually want weapon parts. Because I think I need weapon parts to make another hatchet. Then again, I have enough fuel for at least a couple days. I don't think I have to worry about that too much right right now. Oh, right, this conversation. Finish talking with everybody. Let's go. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is just wait and hope somebody comes with more news about Milena, or maybe Milena themselves comes back. I right, we got a bunch of fuel. 15 fuel, 10 wood, and some components. It's going to be so satisfying to stoke that fire. The traitor. Also the person who wants some of our stuff. Right? You again? Didn't take my offer seriously? Yeah, that's the person that waits at the construction site for us. Not giving you the stuff. We're trading with them through a closed door. It's kind of weird. Okay, definitely want fuel always. I want the weapon part. Mm, I'll take the water. Yeah, I only have 13 water. Good on bandages and stuff. I'll take the food. This is like ideally everything that I would get. I guess the parts as well. So ideally that's everything I'd get, but let's see if we can actually afford it. Alcohol. I don't need either of these, to be honest. I'm not going to build another heater. I know it's one of our goals, but screw that. One heater's fine. Just keep it stoked. 
Okay, so that's pretty good. I don't have much that I'm comfortable trading at this point. See, I used to trade away gun parts and shell casings like, like nothing because I never could make anything out of them. But now I can, so I actually want to keep them. This is the broken guitar that I haven't had the resources to fix. Be cool to fix up that. Okay, that's impressive. So this is too much stuff. What if I get rid of one? Yeah, I can keep the alcohol. And then I always see if I can get just a couple more things. Like herbs. You can have it for almost nothing. Cigarettes, almost for nothing. So can I grab one of these? I can grab one, but not two. Don't need anything else. See ya. And yeah, we saved... Um, oh yeah, about the artworks and saving them. I managed to save every single one in the museum. Nothing was lost to collapse or anything like that. I think I lost a couple things to collapse before. And... Um, oh, back at Anja's home. I didn't lose as much stuff to uh, breaking up things for fuel. I still had to break up some stuff because fuel was just so limited. But yeah, I didn't lose as much. Only one fuel. Oh, I love that. Should I make two batches? No, that's too much. Hungry, hungry, hungry. There's only three hungries. That would leave one more food than we need. I feel like being a little daring. I'm going to go back to the warehouse, taking all this stuff, and see if I can kill someone without anybody else noticing. We'll see how this goes. Probably not well. But... Remember there's that person that seems to sleep in that bed? What if I stab them while they're sleeping? Surely that'd be pretty effective, wouldn't it? So I'm looking for weapon parts and components. Those are the most important things. Wait, is there somebody there? Usually there isn't somebody there. That's... Odd. Usually they leave, like, right away. Not that one, this one. Okay, they've left. Let's just see what's here. You better not magically know that I'm stealing. They don't. Just an electric part? Whatever. Person up there is looking down, so I can't go in this room. They'll see me. I could try to sneak up on this person. Or I could go for the sleeping person. I'd prefer to go for the sleeping person. I don't know if they're actually up there right now, though. I'm gonna go for it. Yes! Got him! Got him! Nobody noticed. No, no, never mind. They noticed. Got him. Oh boy. Holy shit, this is working? How much ammo do I have? Eight. Okay. Oh my god. We're only slightly wounded. I cannot believe that worked. I, I, I'm pretty sure there's more, but I, I think some others didn't hear. Maybe one's on the other side of the base. Holy shit. Okay. 
When I killed the three people at the abandoned house, the three bandits, I took some of their stuff, but I couldn't fit it all. What I found is that when I went back there the next day, the stuff dropped by people was gone. So I'm going to assume that nothing on these bodies is going to be here tomorrow, so I need to take the most important thing from the bodies. I cannot believe that fucking worked. Oh my god. I'm so powerful. I feel like I shouldn't be that powerful. Can I just go to the army base and just kill the goddamn colonel? <laughs> wow. Empty? Really? Here we go. So another assault rifle would be good for trading, but that's about it. I'm more interested in the ammo, but I'll take the rifle for now. I cannot believe that worked. Yes, lots of ammo. Did I already try to loot this body? Did I? I guess not. I, I don't need four assault rifles. <laughs> I'm good. I mean, I guess I can drop a part for an assault rifle. That's a good trade. Okay, well, I guess I'm free to explore this place now. Holy shit. Well, now, if there's a trace of Milena here that I haven't found that actually affects anything, well, we're going to find it. I didn't take anything to, like, cut bars or anything like that. I know there's two bars to cut and at least one thing to lockpick. I... Uh, hmm. Wood's not really important. Fuel's not really that important. I'm more after weapon parts. I just need one weapon part, actually, to be able to make uh, another hatchet. And then also just components. I'll drop one of these assault rifles to fit more components in or whatever, though. I'm still absolutely flabbergasted that that worked. I felt relatively powerful having body armor and assault rifle, but still. Can I just be like, hey, cook, you're free to go. Like, stop cooking for these shitheads. Or just live here or whatever. Actually, no, you probably shouldn't stay here. This is a warehouse of the army. So there's going to be people coming back looking for this stuff at some point. I don't have that much time left, actually. Let me, let me keep moving. I think I maybe actually did kill everybody. A bandage? Yeah. Meh. Hey. I can't even talk with them. They don't even acknowledge my existence. Maybe they just never foresaw this happening. <laughs> Keep the door closed. Yeah, uh, sure. I'm just kind of getting, like, a lay of the land, mostly. Like, what do they have here? Oh, components, right? I didn't have max components. I want to make sure I read all of these clues. Oh, I need to go. Are there any guards left over here? No, they appear to all be gone. I'm looking for any clues that I can get on my way out. Doesn't look like it. Everybody here is dead. Fuck yeah. Wait, I want to know what's here. Run to exit. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Okay. And I've replenished, I think, most of the ammo I used there. 
That makes me think I maybe could go to the army base and start some shit, you know? Oh boy. Everyone, you would not believe the night I've had. <laughs> then I just come in with three assault rifles just covered in blood. <laughs> you really can't bring much loot though when you put on all that armor and weapons and stuff. It takes a lot of inventory space. Get people to sleep. Get them making some food. I think I'm out of fertilizer, so I don't think I can put more in here. I could put a I could use a raw food to get two raw food. I mean, it's worth it. Oh, you're slightly wounded. I'm gonna give him a bandage. It's only a slight wound, but still. Don't want it to become something worse. Anja is my scavenger. If I don't have them, I have severely limited space. I'm going to make two saw blades. That's going to use enough of my weapon parts that I'm not going to be able to make a hatchet, but I'm okay with not being able to make a hatchet for one more day. I still have nine fuel left. And I'm pretty confident when I go back to the warehouse, we're going to be able to find a couple weapon parts. <laughs> and I'll have so much more space because I won't have to take all the armor and stuff because, well, I'm assuming if we go back, the place isn't going to be like refortified, right? I hope. Yeah, it doesn't say danger at warehouse anymore, so the place has not been refortified. Guard, guard, scavenge. I know that there's one locked thing and there's two saw blades that need to be used. Could there be a second locked thing? I mean, there probably is, right? There's probably a good chance of there being something else that needs to be unlocked. And we don't need to bring anything else. Yeah, I got back almost all of the ammo that I used. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Jesus, fuck. Fucking hell. I thought that was a soldier for some... that just had popped back for some reason, but no, it's the cook. Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah, you can see all the bodies are completely gone. That's actually not very good at all. I guess the broken assault rifle would be worth it if I didn't have... Three or four assault rifles. Okay, we got another thing to break open down here. For weapon parts, components, food, actually, especially vegetables. Ooh, a lot of really good medicine. Not that I need that right now, but still really good stuff. That's everything I know of that's locked. There might be more. I haven't explored over to the left here. I just ran through this place, running out of time before. Okay, what do I not need? I don't need tobacco. Oh, what? I'm gonna keep medication and bandages just because they're worth a lot. I don't really need wood that much. I'll keep one stack of it, but I think that's it. I do want to take this because then I can make more ammo with that. Let's do it once over on the building. I really want weapon parts. 
Actually, let's look over here, because we haven't looked over here before. Oh, it says ammo box, but it's not ammo. <laughs> I was excited. It says ammo box there. There's got to be some weapon parts. Three canned food? Ooh, that's fantastic. That'll stack. I'll take another stack of components for now. Here we go. Oh, and 10 ammo. That is fantastic. I'm taking a stack of that. Mm. I should take more weapon parts. Uh, I'll drop the wood for another stack of weapon parts. That's, un that's enough, right? That's enough. Is there more up here? If I could find more ammunition, that would stack. It's basically all I'm looking for at this point is things that will stack with what I already have. I have enough ammo that I actually feel pretty confident about going to the army base. I don't remember how many people were there though. But I have a good amount of ammo. I really wish I could tell a cook, hey, everybody's dead, you need to leave. I guess maybe they didn't expect you to do this? I don't know. Ooh, two bandages. Oh, didn't we have food here? Yes. I'll ditch a shell casing for some food. There's so much here. I think that's it. Yeah, run to exit. That's not running. We don't have that many days till the airstrike happens. But yeah, I think going to the army base is what I'm going to do tonight. Ah, oh, right. Here's the second conversation with the cook. We're getting the second conversation with the cook the day before in the last playthrough where we got the first conversation. So we've already seen this. I'll just kind of skip it. No, I hope to see her with you here. She doesn't come back. She doesn't have much time. The military's preparing for something big tonight. Oh, that's not the big raid when the museum gets destroyed, but we're not going to be able to go anywhere tonight, are we? They're going to bomb us again. That isn't the one that destroys this place, is it? Yeah, I can't go anywhere tonight. Oh. This is that one. Huh. So, the shelling doesn't always happen on the same day. I guess it depends on where you are in progress. 
So maybe there's no benefit to getting to the museum earlier. I don't know. Huh. Well, at least Ruben's alive this time. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Huh. Well, it's gonna prompt me to reload, I think. Yeah, it's a marginally better ending than last time. It better prompt me to reload. I don't want to have to play through the whole game again. Failed to save the collection. I want to continue from the day before. Yes. Now, is this the day before where we can't do anything because the bombing's happening tonight? Or do we just need to get in the car and go? That's probably it, isn't it? We're probably just supposed to get in the car and go without Milena. Yeah, so this is the day where, during the nighttime, the museum's going to be destroyed. So, wait, we just had the conversation with the person outside, the cook. I think we just need to try to leave. What's this conversation? Is it the affair? Safer Hazohar. Okay, that's irrelevant at this point. Okay. Let's try to leave. We have to find a way to secure items before we go? What? What do you mean? I've secured everything, though? Right? Like, these have all been loaded up. All I can do is make them into fuel. It's a pretty incredible amount of stuff, by the way. What do you mean? We don't know how to evacuate with our collection. So this is a dead end, isn't it? We can't take our car. Because we don't know where to go, because Melina hasn't come back. Do you think if I just wait till it's really, really late, maybe Melina will come back in like just the nick of time? Because I've always ended the day. If not that, then... We're just screwed, right? Nah, it's ten minutes until eight. It's about to happen. Milena doesn't come. I'm surprised they would offer to allow me to load my save game from the night before. When it doesn't matter. There's nothing I can do to change my fate on this day. I would need to go back to the day before to have any chance of doing anything. Wow, that's really frustrating. Oh my god, so... There's only two ways I can think of, then, to actually secure the collection. We have to either make the deal with the Colonel, they wanted the Battle of the Leech Swamp painting, and then they would give us safe passage out, so we could just take the truck out. Well, supposedly, who knows if they're telling the truth, of course. Greedy fucker. Or that other person who offered to meet us at the construction site, if we give them the... Was it the Safar al Zohar that they wanted? Something they wanted. No, it wasn't that. It was a thing, the list of like properties and deeds or whatever and witnesses. If we give them that thing, they would tell us a place where we can store the collection in a vault, a bank vault. So that would, I mean, a way out is better than that. That means we still stay in here, but the collection is fairly safe. I don't know what would happen to us, the people, though. I mean, we can't live in a bank vault, right? So where do we go? I don't know, but it sounds like I have to do one of those two things. I'm gonna have to play through the whole fucking game again. Oh no. The f Ugh, The structure of this game is really frustrating. I even made a save. I, I mean, I copied my saves which are in a very obscure, strange folder, by the way. But I actually copied them 
this day because I didn't think the bombing would happen so early because it didn't happen so early in the last playthrough. Oh man, I should have been making copies all along. That save's useless. It's from the day we get bombed. Can't do anything. I wish... I don't know why they make the game like this. It's so frustrating. I get that they want you to live with the consequences of your actions, but... Getting to a dead end like this and having to replay the entire game? If you want to have any hope of a different ending, like, why not just make a save every day and allow me to go back to whichever day I want to? Okay, well, I, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to replay this game again. I'm really frustrated. Uh, we'll see, but for now, thanks for watching.